Hello everybody, I hope you're doing good. Just yesterday I told you a great news about the new travel rules of Canada that the fully vaccinated travelers would not need to do the hotel and home quarantine. And today I've got one good and one bad news for all of those people who are there in India. Yes, this video is only for those people who are there in India because in this video we'll be talking about the flights ban. Has the flight ban been extended to 31st of July? And we'll also talk about a good news, a decision that the Indian government has taken recently uh, to expedite the second dose for all of those people who are going abroad. So if you're interested in any of these news, stay tuned. Guys, before we talk about this news in detail, a quick personal update from me. My wife has been tested positive uh, from COVID-19. She contracted the virus from one of her colleagues. Um, and thankfully we both got our first shots just two weeks before so her health is stable but still I've been uh, taking all the world of precautions using mask and gloves at home but I've been told by um, public health to get tested on this Sunday or Monday if I contract the virus and uh, if my health anyhow deteriorates I won't be uh, making videos for one or two weeks but hopefully if I'm fine I will definitely be uh, making videos for you and providing you all these quick updates that are coming daily okay so talking about the updates first of all uh, talking about the flight ban between India and Canada okay so there's a lot of news going on the internet that the flight ban has been extended until 31st of July. Let's talk about the truth. Has this officially been declared by the government of Canada? The answer is no, it hasn't been officially declared. Uh, why people are saying this? Because of Air Canada. Air Canada has been replying on uh, many tweets from uh, all those people who are from India uh, that the flight ban has been extended until 31st of July and now it's on their website as well that they would be resuming the flights uh, between India and Canada uh, somewhere towards the end of July but this has not been officially declared by the government of Canada the last time the flight ban was extended until 21st of June Air Canada did update it a couple of days before the announcement of government of Canada so yes you can say that this news might be true and government of Canada might be declaring it sometime soon that the flight ban will be extended until 31st of July but until now it hasn't been declared so don't get confused only Air Canada has declared it that the flights uh, would be banned until the end of July and yes I believe that this might be announced officially by the government sometime very soon um, yes the case count in India has gone down a lot but the major problem being Delta variant. This has been a problem in UK. If you uh, hear the news from around the world, you'd see that uh, UK had this plan of reopening from 21st of June, I think, and uh, their plans might be postponed because of the Delta variant. Similarly, in Canada also, uh, they found this Delta variant and uh, it's actually, you know, spreading a lot. And this Delta variant was first found in India. So yes, there are good chances that because of this reason, they want to extend the flight ban until 31st of July and until then, more people will get their second vaccinations and hopefully, uh, you know, they would resume the flights after that. Whatever happens, I'll try to update you as soon as possible and obviously it's a big news, so if that happens, you'll get to hear that in the newspapers as well. Alright, now talking about the second news, which is actually a good news for all those people uh, in India who are waiting to travel to Canada. Uh, because the government of India has actually announced that all of those people who want to travel abroad, not just Canada, anywhere abroad, uh, for the purpose of studying uh, or maybe for the purpose of working, can accelerate their second shot. So in India, it has been declared that the uh, COVID shield vaccine, the difference between the first shot and the second shot, should be uh, 84 days. But now it has been declared that anyone who wants to go abroad for the purpose of uh, studying or working can actually get the second shot after a span of 28 days. The COVID app would be updated with this update uh, sometime very soon and uh, all those people who have got the first shots can actually get the second shots just after 28 days. So that's uh, really good news for all those people because as I told you uh, yesterday, 
that government of Canada has announced that it would be accepting the fully vaccinated travelers and all those people would not require to hotel quarantine or even do the uh, remaining quarantine in home. So all those people who have got two shots of Covishield vaccine uh, would be allowed to enter Canada and they won't require to do the hotel or the home quarantine after 14 days from their shot. Now talking about the last point which is about Covaxin Many people after the yesterday's video asked me that if they've got the uh, shot of Covaxin, will they be uh, allowed to skip the quarantine? Until now, it hasn't been approved by Health Canada. So as per the uh, updates right now at the moment, they won't be allowing uh, all those people who have got uh, Covaxin either one or two shots uh, to skip the uh, quarantine. We don't have the nitty gritty details about uh, these kind of questions until now. I saw news today that uh, US government agency FDA has actually denied the emergency approval of Covaxin. So there might be chances that it might not get approved sometime soon in, uh, in Canada by Health Canada. But whenever it does, I'm sure that all those people would be able to, uh, you know, skip all of these quarantine rules. Whatever are the updates, I'll definitely keep updating you. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you know the deal. You have to click the subscribe button. Unfortunately, only 30% people who watch my videos have subscribed. So I please request you, all those 70% people, that please go and click the subscribe button. It really means a lot. Numbers do count and they definitely motivate YouTubers. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please click the subscribe button. If you have any questions, any queries, please put it down in the comment section below. And yes, do share it with your friends so that they can also get the recent updates. Thanks a lot for watching this video.